All right, what's up? I got a really good example of something in computing that is very simple, computationally, to do. Uh, that people just make very complicated, way more complicated than it should be. And I think it's a good example of how you can make your life better by simplifying. <laughs> uh, so bookmarking, okay? I got this email maybe last week and I, I just, uh, you know, kind of filed it away, I saved it. Um, so this guy says, I was greatly inspired by your video on Pass when it was released. Pass is a password manager. You can check it out. You can look up. I'm, I'm going to forget to put the link to it, but look Pass and Luke Smith. It's the one with the uh, Apu with the suit on in the thumbnail. I have uh, been using it as my sole password manager ever since. Very simple. All it does is just saves passwords encrypted on your hard drive and then recalls them uh, when you need it. Uh, and of course, it can easily generate random passwords and all this kind of stuff. I wonder if you user can recommend something similar for bookmark managing. I, I might be mistaken, but I think I saw you using or saying you use some script based on dmenu for it. Can't find videos or scripts in your dot files that would indicate. So yes, I've been doing this for bookmarking for years, and I haven't done a video on it because it's so simple. It seems almost stupid to do a video on it. But since like th this is a recurring question I get, I guess I might as well. Uh, this is one of those things that's right in front of your face that is is way easier than than you think. So I'm going to show you what I do and and things that you can make um you know you can make this even more simple for you. Um, I'm not even a big bookmarker. So this guy actually links some um, cert, you know there, he linked this page that I pulled up over over here where like there are literally people who have like. I don't, all this software, I don't know, that runs, that does bookmarking, and you can pay for these services and stuff like that. And that's just nuts to me. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these things do that do things that the simple thing I'm going to show you can't. Um, but I, I, I like making simple software, and then you, when you want to think about syncing devices and other things, you, you build that on top of it. Okay, let me show you what I'm thinking of. I'll, I'll show you how my bookmarking thing works. At any time on my computer, I can hold down super and I can press insert and I will get a menu of all these bookmarks that I've bookmarked. And uh, so I'm just gonna put in, I don't know, let's say, uh, well, I can, t it's D menu, so I can type whatever or I can select it, you know, however. Uh, so landchad.net, right? Let's say I wanna go to that site. Um, this uh, this is just a way of doing bookmarking. Now, the thing, first thing about this to note is that it's not specific to my browser, right? I can pull up a terminal. In fact, this is originally what I used, I began using this system for. I began using it when I was like, oh, let's say I'm, you know, making, I, I was actually rewriting my website and I need to, you know, have a bunch of links and stuff like that. So I wanna have, oh, link to my video site, my video site, right? All that kind of stuff. Um, so it's not just for browsers. It can work for your chat application. It can work in Vim. It can work in the terminal, whatever. It's independent. That's good thing number one. Um, so all this thing is, all my system is, is literally just a text file. It's literally just a single text file. And here's where it is on my machine. Uh, local share large snippets. Okay, I don't often open it like this, but that's where it is. Okay, so this is just where I put all my bookmarks. Now, of course, I usually, I rarely add stuff to this file. Um, so I usually just open it when I need to, or I'll have a, shook, uh, a shortcut. Uh, so, you know, I have like a, you know, a bookmark files thing where I can put, if you use LARBs, you can do this, where you can just say, let's say local share uh, LARBs snippets and uh, bind that to SN. So then you just type SN and it will open that file, right? Um, but anyway, so I, I just add this stuff to this file. I don't really need to add that much. Notice that most of the stuff I have are URLs. Okay, got a whole bunch of URLs. Um, but at the same time, I also have things that aren't URLs. So I, like uh, this is like uh, Bitcoin address or Monero address, right? Um, those are things that are hard to type. Like you don't want to mistype those. Um, but they're also not URLs. But the thing with the script is I can get it. Let's say I type in Bit oh, my Bitcoin address. Bang, got my Bitcoin address, right? Um, so that's the nice thing about that. Okay, I can I can type any of this st stuff pretty easily. So uh, how does this work? How does this work? Literally, all it is is a text file, but the command that calls it uh, is in my DWM configuration file. So it is uh, snippets. Let's look for that. So it's this line right here. Okay. So if you don't have DWM, if you don't know C, doesn't matter, but this is the command that I have bound, right? So uh, it's ma map to super plus insert. 
and it just it takes the content of this file, pipes it into D menu. That's the thing that gives me the menu. Then you select what you want. Then it cuts out the first element. And then all of this output that it cuts out, it will run xdo type. And that basically, xdo type, xdo tool type, excuse me, that just types out the content that it has. So that's why it's not just outputting to your terminal. It, you know, it is, you know, you're adding stuff, you're typing things out here, right? Um, so it, at any time, if I want to add stuff to the snippets file, you know, let's say, uh, I don't think my book site is in here. Let me add that. So HTTPS colon slash slash Lindy press dot net, right? So now that's bookmarked. I don't think I see that in the file. Um, so now I can go here and just input that content whenever I want and go there. Um, and so, yeah, nice and simple. By the way, I have new books. I should do videos on the new books that I've done, but go, go and buy them if you want. Um, so that's how that works, right? Now, if you want to make this more complicated or not even more complicated, but if you want to build stuff on top of this, all we have, remember, all we have for this is a file, this text file, and we just have a command that's like calling them from D menu and outputting them. That's all we have to, to put them in there or to, to get them out. But if you want, you can also add a, a script and a bind to, let's say, add stuff to this file. Okay. So let's say you want a, a bookmarking. So actually here's an idea. One key that I don't have bound is capital B. Yeah, so if you hold down super and capital B, uh, this is not bound to anything. So let's buy, oh, B bookmark. Let's bind that to a bookmark. So if, I, if I'm at a URL, I let's say I want to, um, let's say I'm at this site and I highlight this URL. Uh, let's say I want to be able to save that into my bookmarks file, right? Uh, let's make a script for that. So I'm going to go to my scripts directory. I'm going to create a script. We'll say, I don't know. Uh, book mark this okay and then I'm gonna make it executable and let's create this thing so bookmark this make it a shell script okay um, and here's what we'll say so to do this let's say we want we want to highlight something and then be able to just run this command so how to let's say book mark is going to equal the variable bookmark is going to be equal to x clip x clip o now what x clip o is you can check out the manual for x clip if you want but that is that's a thing for like taking things from your uh, things that you've copied or you have selected um, if you just do x clip o without any other arguments that will take whatever you have selected right so that's this right now um, so it's going to set the var variable bookmark equal to that and uh, at the end of the script, if everything works out, we want to echo bookmark uh, to our snippets file. Actually, let's make another var variable for snippets, or we'll, we'll say file, right? So the file we were using earlier, which is what, home, uh, you can make it whatever you want so long as the directory exists, local, share, larbs, snippets. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. So at the end of the script, we're going to want it to output to this file. So let's just text, test if this works, right? So where's our snippets file? Okay, here it is right now. So let's say I take this. Uh, oh, we got to bind the key. Hold on. So let's just bind this. This is going to run the script. What is it? Bookmark this. Is that what I called it? Is that what I called it? Bookmark this, right? Um, technically, you should make it look like this. I don't know. Maybe maybe I should just do it that way because that's like, I don't know, set a better example. Uh, we don't want to call an extra unneeded um, uh, 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 I just lost my train of thought. We want to, we don't want to call an extra subshell that we don't need. So let's say book mark this. Okay. Um, so now recompile our window manager, refresh our window manager. All of my windows are going to get screwed up for a second. But now this script should be bound to a uh, capital B. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's get this and we'll take this to the other uh, window. So now I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna run uh, super capital B or press super capital B. And that should, oh, look at that. It popped out at the end of this file, right? So now every time I type in um, super capital B, I noticed that when this screen turned off, the exposure on this camera changed. It, I got pale. I wanted to, I don't like the, okay, now, now it looks back and it looks more tan. I don't know. I, I hate how, I hate auto-exposing cameras. I really loathe it, but 
Um, anyway, so now every time we type super capital B, whatever we have highlighted, okay, that's going to be added to the end of our bookmarks file here. And that also means when we type in, you know, insert, oh, look, we can now select these things. Oh my goodness, that's freaking awesome. So if you want to go further, I reckon this script is very, it's not very robust, frankly, because obviously, you know, I could highlight this multiple times and press the bind multiple times. Oops, I just added this thing like three times. We don't really want that to happen, do we? So what we can do is we can say stuff like, you know, let's say if, uh, well, I don't know. Let's do it this way. So we'll grep out the sequence bookmark um, from the file. Okay, so what is this saying? Um, yeah, the Q option. So this command is like searching the file uh, for the sequence, for this sequence we're trying to bookmark if it's at the beginning of a line and if it's at the end of a line, right? And only if it is not do we actually add it okay let's say let's say that or maybe we should we should probably do if right we should probably say if you know grab all that kind of stuff uh, then blah 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 else blah 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 so if um, it if we find the bookmark already there I'm gonna say notify notify send um, oops already bookmarked, okay? And if it succeeds, we're gonna say uh, bookmark added. So bookmark is now saved to the file, okay? Okay, so uh, let's go back here and we'll highlight this and we'll press that. Oops, already bookmarked, okay? Because that's already bookmarked, but let's go in here and let's remove, let's remove all this, all the instances where we bookmarked it before. Now we highlight it and, oh, bookmark added, right? Perfect. So now we, it's a little more complicated, but you know, it, it does like basically what you want. I mean, th okay, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not here to create like this system for like bookmarking uh, right now. This is like the simplest shell script in the world. But what I'm getting at is like, instead of using complicated programs, okay, whatever. And again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not adding any of these people. I literally know, no, know nothing about the, the things that they've made. Maybe they're great. Um, but all you need is a text file. And with basically this teeny tiny script, actually with even less, you could just like echo the output of xclip, right? You could just do, you know, literally like xclip o to the file, right? You know, it's that simple. Um, with with just, just that, you can get a lot of what people actually want in bookmarking. And with one other command that calls it into D menu, right? You're, you're using things in a Unix-y way. You're like, you're using programs in the way they intend. Um, so the only other thing, I'm not going to talk about this in this video, but let's say a lot of people like their bookmarks synced. Okay. How do you, how do you sync a bookmark? Well, uh, it's actually the same. This guy brought up, right? Uh, he brought up pass, a password manager, and he says that he's been using it, right? Um, pass is the same way. By default, all it is, is it saves stuff on your computer and it's usable with D menu and all this kind of stuff. Well, then you think about, hey, I could build a rsync script on top of this that syncs my computers, or I could use sync thing. I, sync thing, you know, requires a graphical environment, right? I think it still requires a graphical, um, or at least they intend you to use it through a browser, which I really don't like. But there are a million other tools that already exist that do syncing, right? Um, that, uh, you know, you can use to like sync this from one device to another, right? So what I'm trying to get at is instead of using like this new, I mean, this is what I talked about when I talked about like my emoji inserting, uh, thing, right? So I have a script, another D menu script, D menu. Oh my goodness. It's so awesome. Um, I have a D menu script that inserts emojis and it's nice because I don't need a separate emoji module for my browser and chat window and terminal and all this kind of stuff. And you don't need a separate bookmarking thing for all these things as well, because if you use simple text files, then you can, you can build stuff on top of them. And now if you want to think about this is again, not some, something I'm going to do in this video, but if you want to think about syncing them with other computers, then you can use pre-existing tools that already do this stuff well to sync up everything instead of using some new system that might, you know, sync stuff up in its own ways. And you have five different things making connections, sync everything up at once. That's more than what I'm thinking about. So that's it. That's all I got to say in this video. Uh, see you guys next time.